Hello one and all, as my view of My Hero Academia Vigilantes Chapter 83, Raging Inferno, and finally, finally, the crawler has taken flight! Woo! Oh my god, this was, this was so long coming, I mean seriously, his mother first told us he could fly way, way, way back in Chapter 18. That was 60 chapters and some three odd years ago that we were foreshadowed that he could fly eventually. And now finally he is freaking flying and I love it! I mean seriously, you can't be, you know, a famous hero unless you can fly. And he's finally done it. I mean, there are definitely some uh, bugs he needs to work out. He doesn't seem to have, you know, all that much control over it. And he, you know, ran out of steam while he was hundreds of feet in the air. I feel like that's going to be a problem next chapter. But still, he accelerates at so much speed and force that Endeavor doesn't even try to catch him. He's just kind of left standing there on the ground like, What the freak just happened? <laughs> oh, I love it. So, yeah, you really have to wonder what kind of uh, person, what kind of hero Koyuchi would be at this point if he had grown up with a less abusive, controlling mother. One who didn't smack him every time he tried to fly. I feel like then, you know, it'd be at least a semi-famous hero, you know, probably not top 10, but at least popular enough that people on the street would recognize him. <sighs> also, uh, should we keep calling him the Crawler? I mean, uh, that name doesn't really fit him anymore, given that he doesn't need to, you know, crawl to move around. And he can literally fly through the air like a freaking angel. Uh, the Flyer? The Bird? Uh, the Cockroach? Uh, let me know anything down below. What are some good names that we start calling him now? Ah, and seriously, I just love everyone's reaction to all this. I mean, they're shocked, not just because, you know, a non-flying vigilante has just started flying, but just, be again, because of the absolute force he's exerting to do this. <laughs> he's already a mile away by the time anyone has the uh, wherewithal to look up. I love that. And of course, Rock is angry yet again because uh, he considers this to be cheating. He considers a sudden power-up to be a cheat. Oh, Rock, you are, you're actually a pretty pathetic villain. You don't really know anything about uh, heroing, being a hero, or how the real world works. You think that because you call yourself the hero, because you think you're the protagonist of the story, everything should go how you think it does, and when it doesn't, someone must have been cheating. Wow, you're really pathetic. So the chapter opens up with uh, Endeavor referring to Koyuchi as an All Might hoodie wearing punk. And he is definitely very, very angry. I I'm sure the, you know, All Might hoodie isn't helping things here. I kind of feel like if he'd, you know, gone to this fight wearing an Endeavor hoodie, he might be more willing to listen, might be more willing to compromise, to, you know, uh, hear him out. But, you know, he just truly, utterly, desperately despises All Might, so that's not happening right now. And even if he was willing to listen, I don't think Koichi really has the time to explain things to him. Uh, I mean, Pop is hurt very, very badly. Uh, no idea what the drug actually did to her, but whatever happened, whatever effect it's causing on her, she clearly needs medical attention, and they need to get to Soga, who I guess is gonna know what to do in this situation. I mean, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense. I mean, Knuckle Duster is master. He trained for this. His, his whole life's purpose, everything he did, was all about finding and stopping the, uh, Queen Bee, so... He must have passed something down to Soga that can teach him how to save Pop, maybe to extract the bee, or has some sort of anti-drug something in his van that he can use to save her, somehow, some way. <laughs> oh, I just love this next part. Rock, he's like, alright, so, uh, I can't interfere with Endeavor here, because that's gonna be an issue. So I'm just gonna chase after him when he, you know, ducks away, when he tries to flee from Endeavor, the number two hero, with one of the most dangerous people on the planet. I'll go after him then, and then he realizes... Wait a minute. He's not running away! Why is he not running away from Endeavor? He is terrifying! He even scares me a little bit here. <laughs> so yeah, Koichi decides to go head to head against Endeavor, or at least, you know, try to get around him instead of trying to go through a back alley or something. I really, truly gotta appreciate the guts it takes to go head to head against the number two hero. That's, that's insane right there. And he actually managed to do a pretty dang good job at it. He's dodging Endeavor strikes, not with ease, but enough so he doesn't even get, you know, slightly singed. Though this one shot does cause the uh, hoodie to go over his eyes. And I just think this. <laughs> oh, I, that, that just seemed to tick off Endeavor more. It's like, you're not even taking this seriously, are you? <laughs> 
which, you know, he is, but it just was such an utterly ridiculous thing that it really ticked him off. So then Endeavor gets serious using his raging assault hell mine field to blow up the ground so Koichi has nowhere left to stand. But unfortunately for Koichi and Rock, who has somehow been falling behind him without Endeavor even noticing, this is only the first part of the attack. The second part launches those flames way higher into the air, basically taking out anyone who'd managed to dodge the first strike. And you know, on the bright side, this managed to take out all the uh, bees that were surrounding them, so good on you Endeavor for that. And then, even better, it managed to capture Rock in his flames, and he is now being burned very, very badly. Yay! Now unfortunately, Rock has hyperspeed regeneration. We saw him regenerate a whole freaking fist last chapter, so I don't really expect this to do too much permanent damage, but hopefully it will take him out of the fight long enough for Koyuchi to get Pop to Soga so he can find a way to stabilize her long enough for him to have his big final confrontation against Rock. And then once again, the energy of his feet begins to change, begins to transform, and he takes off like a freaking rocket through the air! Absolutely love it! But then, like I said earlier, you know, he is hundreds of feet in the air, carrying a wounded pop, and, uh, he doesn't really have a plan B right now. I mean, still unclear exactly how his power works, how it recharges over time. Uh, Soga said a few chapters back that just by learning to control his breathing better, he'd be able to essentially use his powers much more freely. Uh, so maybe if he can just, like, slowly concentrate on his breathing and focus here, he'll be able to get enough oomph to slow his descent to the point where he and Pop don't die when they fall, that'd definitely be nice. And oh my god, this moment. As she just weakly calls out his name, Koichi. And he just holds her close, tells her, Pop, it's gonna be okay. Oh my god, that was so freaking adorable and I loved it. This was a really fast chapter, I feel like it was over in a second. And it's got me so freaking pumped for the next chapter. I mean, Koyuchi's flying now. Hopefully he can get Pop to Soga. They can, you know, extract the uh, killer queen bee from her eye. Uh, then I guess, you know, like I said before, I think it's going to be Rock and him doing their final fights. One-on-one -on -one decide who the true hero is here. So this might not actually be his final fight, his final confrontation, because he said something very important a while ago. He said that he would stop being, you know, the vigilante, stop being the crawler when he ran out of All Might hoodies. And he still technically has one left. Pops, the one that she always has, the one that she's kept in her closet ever since he saved her life. There might be some sort of situation where, you know, he meets Pops' parents in the ER in the hospital. She's in a coma or whatever. And uh, they give him the hoodie. They tell him, they tell him the story of how he, she was saved by him. And he realizes that little boy he saved was Pop. And he goes off to get his revenge, get his justice to bring down Rock once and for all. I would absolutely love it. You know, he wears the hoodie that she's kept all these years safe to go into the final confrontation, go into the final battle. Oh, that would be amazing. I'd love that. Also, I think it's interesting that Rock gets so annoyed that Koichi, you know, was able to fly, able to escape like this when that was probably, you know, the best possible situation for him. As things are set, you know, him against Endeavor, either he was going to beat Endeavor, which, yeah, no, that wasn't going to happen. Or Endeavor's going to beat him badly and then take all the credit for stopping him and the evil pop. By him escaping, Rock's given the chance to chase after him and take him out himself. Endeavor certainly doesn't seem like he was capable of catching up to him, but Rock... Rock is very, very fast, so maybe he can do it. I uh, still think Knuckle Duster's going to end up uh, playing a role in here somehow, some way. I, I realize he doesn't want to be part of this, he doesn't want to get involved in all this, because uh, he's probably hurt in the last battle against Rock, and he's, you know focused on being a parent for his daughter. He can't die. He can't die or she would be an orphan. There's still the fact the detective is there and he knows, you know, the whole situation. The person who has O'Clock's quirk, who is really the one behind all this. So if he sees Rock at all, he sees him use his quirk, he'll quickly put two and two together and realize he's the real big bad here. Give Endeavor the warning, let him know that he needs to be stopped before anything else happens. Uh, are we going to see All Might? Maybe? I mean, this fight's been going on at least five minutes, you know, Endeavor needed to recharge, so no matter where All Might was, I feel like he could have, you know, gotten here in time to give a helping hand, unless he's already used up his three hours of the day. I mean, it is night, so there's a fairly good chance he already used it up. I mean, it's not like he knew exactly what day Pop would come back for her, you know, second attack, so it's not like he would have been saving himself for this encounter. It's not like he would save himself anyway. You know, All Might, especially All Might at the start of the series, he is just 
so utterly focused and obsessed with saving people, they would never let, you know, a full day go by without being a hero. Also, I just have this, I have this crazy theory. It's really, really crazy, but what if All Might offers to give his power to Koyuchi? What if he offers to make him his successor at the end of the series? Obviously, Koyuchi will say no, because then the whole regular series wouldn't make any sense, but I think that'd be such a cool, you know, final moment for the series. Such a cool closing moment where we realize that Koyuchi could have been the successor of One for All. He could have been the Deku of the series. He could have, you know, had all this, his life as a number one hero, but he chose not to go for it. He chose to stay as he was, as, you know, just a regular old vigilante. I just think that'd be such a cool twist. I know it's very unlikely, but I would really love to see it. Though speaking of that, we still have the issue that Koyuchi is at least somewhat well-known, and well-known enough where I don't think Endeavor would have all that much trouble finding his true identity, finding where he lived. And Pop is super well-known. Her parents are involved in the whole search for her and all that. So, yeah, that would... That, that still means you're going to be in a lot of trouble whenever things settle down, whenever Pop gets saved in the hospital, uh, whatever. I feel like it would be a very difficult situation to explain, because even if Koichi was doing it for all the right reasons, he still, you know, tried to fight the number two hero while being surrounded by bombs. That's not the kind of thing a person can just, you know, forgive and forget and move on from. Oh, that's going to be interesting. It definitely going to be interesting. But please, let me think of all this down below. What do you think of Koyuchi finally, finally unlocking flight? And do you think this is his final upgrade? Do you think he can still go more, still do more? And we've seen him boost his uh, air bolt to the point where it's lethal. He boosted his slide and glide to the point where he could outrun O'Clock 2. I still hate that name. And now he boosted his uh, hovering to the point where he can literally fly hundreds of feet in the air in the span of a few seconds. What's left? I, I, I mean, my only guess right now is, you know, better control and precision to the point where he can fly more freely through the air without running out of steam, uh, and then falling to his death. Also, do you think he's changed his name, and, uh, what's Rock have planned next? Like I said, he's certainly mad now, but he has a much better chance of, uh, capturing them, taking them out, than when he was right next to Endeavor. But yeah, let me do think all down below, and be sure to like and subscribe so don't miss the next video. Please, I am really close to a thousand subscribers, and I'd really like to hit that before the end of the year. It's been a big goal of mine ever since I started this channel. But, uh, yeah, anyway, until next time... Peace!